We are back in Northwestern Ontario after a couple of years of COVID restrictions. Just an average fish up here for Northwestern Ontario and one of the portage lakes at Slippery Winds Wilderness Lodge. It's a fly-in lodge and this is a place where you can come and catch hundreds of fish. And we're on a lake called Bluff Point today that's chock full of one to three pound largemouth bass. Guests come in here and catch literally hundreds of them in a day. We did a little portage through the woods and we're exploring Bluff Point Lake and we're talking Northwest Ontario fishing and a great place to do it. Slippery Winds Wilderness Lodge. Super fun and easy fishing. Great if you got young anglers in the family, if you want to give them a real adventure going on a float plane, coming up to a Canadian lodge and really easy to fish too. I mean, all I'm doing is kicking the motor in and out of gear and back trolling real slow and fan casting the shorelines. To worry about, you know, a lot of precision boat control or anything like that. And literally just catch these fish in some spots every cast. And they're not gonna be five and six and seven pounders like you get in the States. This is cold water up here. They got a short growing season. So just one after another from like one to three pounds. But man, you wanna talk about fun, catching lots of them and easy. I mean, just throwing a spinner bait right now. I haven't even tried any of the other lures I got tied on yet. Oh, he's off. I never set the hook. He bit it again. <laughs> You know, the water's 60 degrees. We're seeing these fish pulled up on any shallow rock that they can find. I'm sure they're warming up in the sun because we've had a couple of overcast days up here. There are also a ton of deadfall in these portage lakes, just down trees all over the shoreline. So between that and those shallow rocks, it just holds hundreds of these largemouth bass. And you can really catch them any way you want to. I mean, I'm throwing a spinnerbait, but I've got a Ned Rig tied on, a, a, a wacky worm, I've got a topwater, I've got a OG Tiny, a flat-sided crankbait that deflects well off a cover like rock and wood. Um, so you can really come up here any way that you like to fish bass, and you're gonna get lots of results from that favorite presentation. Right by that tree, of course. Oh, it's a good one too. Here I'm throwing, oh, big one. Here I'm throwing these spinner baits on uh, Legend Tournament Bass. Seven two, medium heavy power, moderate fast deflection. And it is an awesome crankbait rod, spinner bait rod for bass this size. And it's doubling as my uh, walleye trolling rod. I've been catching tons of walleyes on this rod. Perfect power and action for Trolling Rapalas for walleyes as well. So this perfect rod for these scenarios up here. It's a chunk here, man. Wow, look at that one. Oh yeah. Beautiful largemouth. Nice. Beauty. And I'm spooled up with 15 pound suffix 832 braid and a 12 pound suffix advanced fluorocarbon leader. Can't even take a drink without getting bit. <laughs> Don't leave your Ned Rig in the water. <laughs> That's close. Have him take my rod, that would have been kind of a tragedy. The Portage Lakes at Slippery Winds are really a numbers game. You catch lots and lots of smallmouth, largemouth bass, walleyes, northern pike, and the lake trout in some of the Portage Lakes are like three to eight pounds, so they're not, it's not a big size thing. But the lake where the lodge is located, Yoke Lake, is a trophy lake. There are lots of muskies caught and released every season over 50 inches, trophy smallmouth bass fishing, some lake trout with potential to 15 to 20 pounds. And as far as Ontario walleye fisheries go, it is one of the top fisheries for numbers of big fish. During your stay, you'll enjoy accommodations and comfortable modern cabins, hot and cold running water showers, screened in porches, and again, American plan service. So your breakfast, lunch, and dinner will be taken care of at the lodge. There'll be a shore dinner during your stay for all the guests. And if you want to do shore lunch either on your own or with a guide, there are several picnic areas where you can pull up and have some of your fresh caught walleye and they will provide the shore lunch gear so you can do that. All in all, a tremendous Ontario fishing experience here at Slippery Winds Wilderness Lodge.
What an awesome day of largemouth bass fishing, but our Ontario adventure is just beginning. If you'd like to experience spectacular multi-species fishing and great first-class service at an American Plan Lodge, fly in fishing at slipperywinds.com. You can go to slipperywinds.com for more information and have a great time fishing in Canada. We'll see you up here. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.